Hello and welcome, this is Vest here, right? Today I'm playing some more Inscription in Casey's mod. I'm going to start off with our tip scales. Start all battles with one damage on your side of the scales, plus 20 challenge points. And I think I'll do two others. Let's do, um, how about no clover and no hook. So we have a chance at getting some pelts that aren't too expensive. Let's go ahead and give it a run. This is 30 challenge points, so... We'll see how hard it is. Also chose the uh, starting deck that I unlocked. It has the goat, moose buck, and the mole. We'll see how it goes. Okay. I think it'll be a tricky one, so let's see how far we get. All right, two rabbit pelts. Um, what do we want to go for here? I think a fill mice so we can have the fecundity and. Um, we'll do a wolf cub too. It's always a nice car to have. So let's see. Could power something up, or we could go to the wood carver. Uh, I feel like it's a little early to power something up, so let's just go that route instead. Maybe we'll get us a good set of sigil and head. Hey, there we go. We'll go with the uh, little beehive thing bees inside, I think is the name of it. Okay. Alright. Got a bee that's incoming. Um, I guess we could put down a mole just to uh, block some damage for a little bit, but I guess it won't block any since it's airborne. Whoopsie. Um, we need to get, I guess, filled mice in the case, so let's go ahead and um, do so with this. And um, we'll let that be the end of our turn. Okay. So I guess we might as well get the other field mouse started on things. Here we go. Oh, and a wolf cub. Excellent. Okay, I think we're going to tip the scales anyways, but we got a couple teeth. Alright, I don't think we have enough worth going to the trading for, so let's instead head towards um, this card. We'll look and see what other options are. I think we'll go with Bone. Ah, Turkey Vulture. Those are so expensive. Oh well. Alright, we'll take the scissors. I always feel like those are a safe bet to have. Alright, Kingfisher is incoming. Could put down, well, it doesn't really matter what we put down because fortunately um, they're going to just get uh, stronger and stronger, so. Not strong and stronger, but we won't be able to hit them, so they won't be able to hit me either. So our wolf cub, there we go. That's what I say, it should advance and. It'll do greater damage than other of them can. We should be able to get another card on the playing field here in just a moment. Get our um, field mice started. There we go. Okay. And we'll sacrifice. Um, so we can help them over there. Looks like we're going to push them past the scale anyways. Okay. So we could power something up. We could get some sort of bonus card. Um, there is a chance here to do a sigil swap. I'm curious if that would be any good on the uh, wolf cub, perhaps. But... I might hold on to it. Who would I power up? Perhaps the mole? Hmm. This is a hard one. I'm always tempted by these uh, prospector ones. Maybe we'll head towards the wood carver though, because it would be nice to get a complete set. Alright. Which route do we want to go? I guess we'll get the grizzly so we can have something else to make the. Um, black goat be useful for. Alright, who are we going to have bees inside with? 
We don't have any reptiles yet, I believe. And I don't think we have any pronghorns either. Well, actually, the moose buck and the black goat both are. So, and seven health on the moose buck. That's pretty nice. I think we'll do that. It's each time it takes damage, if we can get um, a bee out of it, that wouldn't be bad at all. Bee. Okay. Looks like it has burrower. And... Let's see. How are we going to play this one out? Could we get filled mice on the board pretty quickly? It's a little bit excessive, but we'll do it. Okay. We'll have uh, another filled mouse on the board soon. Okay. Should be able to take out this lane of bees. Here we go. Okay, there it is. Nice. Uh, two more wood carver events. Let's go with another bone. Oh, another turkey vulture. Maybe we'll combine them up to a six and six turkey vulture. That would be interesting. Um, let's see. Well, I guess I'll go with a wolf head, but we'll stick with pronghorn bees inside. Okay. What are we gonna have here? Ah, stinky. Stinky's always nice. Um, I think we'll get it. And what are our chances here? Hmm. So it looks like our pronghorns would make the most sense, but I think I'll do bees inside. having the angler as our first boss since it's always so hard otherwise. Alright, we didn't get our go on our first round so we could play our mole but it's not going to help block the likes of the kingfisher so I'm thinking we might as well just save up. Okay. And similar story, um, still can't play anything, so I think we're going to have to get our, let's see, moose buck down, and we will lay down the smoke so that he has something to go after. Okay. And we'll go ahead and have this guy pulled over, and I believe that's all we can do. Card. And we have a wolf cub. Alright, guess we gotta play a squirrel. Alright, let's see what else can we do now. I don't think we have enough for a uh, turkey vulture yet. Yep, fortunately not yet. I think we're just gonna have to let a uh, squirrel head on over. Okay. Alright, you got me. Um, let's keep on saving up here. We should be able to get to phase two. And fortunately, we're gonna have two buckets put in front of us. Alright, Moosebuck's gonna activate that one unfortunately, so 
I'm not sure if we have anything good to guard against it unless we put down our mole. Um, now the moose buck does have bees inside, so maybe we should put the mole down to block the moose buck. Um, da -da -da. Okay, it may actually move it, so let me see. Do I have enough to turkey vulture? I do. Alright, I might make it just strong enough to keep things in play. Good. Alright, we got a bee out of this too. And let's draw from here. Okay, and I don't think I really have much else to do. Um, we'll just keep it going like this. It's like that's all it's going to take to win, anyways. Okay. see mole man pack rat and ouroboros i think we'll go the ouroboros route here we go hmm. i'm not sure if i have a card i want to copy yet but we'll see definitely don't want the nine turkey vulture i guess we'll get us a uh, wild bull why not? And as far as duplicating things go, um, hmm, I don't really see one that is uh, calling my name. Let's see. Perhaps doing a sigil swap on the wolf cub to uh, put its power on something else might be interesting. Um, if I put it on the field mice, it would actually be more powerful than the wolf cub. And uh, I would get another one out of it. That'd be interesting. But I could put it on Ouroboros as well. And whatever it ends up going to, it'll be stronger and stronger. So I think I'll do that instead. But if I can get it sacrifice a time or two, that would be awesome. Alright, let's put it on the Ouroboros, please. Actually, let me double check this. I wonder if putting Fukunity on the Black Goat would make more sense so I can get more power. I'm going to do that instead, so I can get two powerful cards out of it. Um, so let's do that. We'll get some good excess damage. All right, Raven and a mole. So let's uh, let's play our black coat right away to get us a Ouroboros on the board, and we will save up the next turn to get the wild bull in front of the Raven. Actually, I guess we need to get it moving along. We're going to have a little bit of a problem here. I might have to cut the Raven card, actually, because I forgot about it being airborne, unfortunately. So let's see this, and we will go ahead and do that. And we will cut the Raven card. Go ahead and pull a tooth, too, so we'll have our items cleared out. And... I think that'll be it for now. Okay. Alright, that should reverse our fortune here. And we have a wolf cub we can get on the board. Nice. Good. We should get a decent amount of excess damage here. in time before we go in for uh, the trapper. Alright, we have enough for a golden pelt? Yeah. I 
Okay, good. And let's uh, do a resuck on our items just to be safe. We don't want to play it too risky. Hmm, tempting to get another black coat. Um, we'll do it. And having our little fan for the airborne, that's always nice. Okay. Who are we coming up against? A wild bull. We could get a moose buck on the board, but we don't have a goat handy unless we draw from that one. So perhaps I'll put a mole down to uh, take the heat from this wild bull that's uh, going to come charging at us. Okay. Well, I think that we are going to have to get that black goat out and be able to stand a chance here. Um, let's go ahead and place somebody else down. Perhaps our um, moose buck would help us here. But the grizzly actually has more attack power, so I think we'll go with it instead. Okay. Here we go. Oh, and we're gonna have a pronghorn coming in here to mess with us too. Good thing is the grizzly should take out most of that lane. Not all of it, but most. Good. Oh, they may have just push us past. Almost. Alright, we spike time. Here we go. Alright, give me the bees. Alright, what do we have? Turkey vulture. Excellent. And that'll be good for now. Getting those excess teeth like crazy. Alright. So a cave challenge and a power-up opportunity. Um, we could trade in our pelts and do a sacrifice. Who would we want to do a swap with, though? Hmm. Let's, uh, let's do this and we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll get really lucky and there'll be something like a geck or other really nice card. Uh, let's see, the elk fawn I could add to our um, current running of pronghorns, and that would be nice, actually. I think that I'll do it. And what else? Uh, a pronghorn that has a rabbit hole and a unkillable bloodhound. Let's see. Kingfisher and a skunk and lays a raven egg and uh, rabbit hole ring beller or bell ringer I should say I said totally backwards I think I'll go with the bloodhound all right who we have ah uh, the mole man question mark um, brewer and mighty leap and the mantis god I'm not exactly sure what this guy does I'm a little bit afraid to get it but Let's get a Mantis God, because I would like to sacrifice it for putting its power on something else. I think that's a little too hard to pass up. So, let's put its power on... Maybe... I'm thinking maybe the Elk Fawn is to go with our theme. Um, who would be good? Even the wolf cub. That'd be pretty nice. Hmm. Ouroboros doesn't feel like the best idea. But it'd be pretty strong if I can have it die just once. So maybe we'll do that. We have potential here. If we can get it a couple of times up, if we can get it to die twice, that would be enough to make it all worth it. That'd be nine damage in a turn. 
really hard to stop after that. Alright, got bees inside again. And moose bucket's gonna run at us. So, what are we gonna do to take this on? I guess we're gonna get our elk fawn on the board. And, uh, the moose buck is gonna hit us pretty hard though. So, we're just gonna have to roll with it and see what happens. We may have to cut its card, it's gonna be too much damage. Okay. Um, our elk will do another plus two while well, it does three, so that's gonna go down to just needing one hit. Um, fortunately, it's just not a good situation for us. Um, I can't get the wild bull down without sacrificing it, fortunately. So the moose buck should come back and hit the elk, and the elk will survive. So, um, I think it's okay. I mean, it's not critical to win anyways. Oh, I totally miscalculated that stupid mole being there. Ah, <sighs> my mistake. I should have cut the, uh, card. That's alright. Hopefully I'll get a chance to reignite it. Alright, come on, Elk. We need you. Ah, let's see. Do we perhaps want to... I don't think we care about this sigil. Um, we don't have any insects, and it's getting kind of late to start worrying about insects, I think. So, let's just get the bird head to start. And we'll stick with um, bees inside, I think. Just looking to see if I want to switch out the head type. Um, for canines, we have the bloodhound. And the wolf cub. I think that's it. Um, we'll just stick with the pronghorn for now. We have another chance here too, so come on, let's get something awesome. Um, yeah, I don't think guardian really helps. And once again, insects doesn't really matter, so let's get um, bees inside again with our pronghorn. We'll keep going. I feel like I visited the woodcarver a little too much this run, so it might be a little weak. I still haven't done a single power-up of any of my cards, so it's feeling a little bit shaky today. Let's see how we fare. All right. Okay. Fortunately, I'm not sure our elk fawn can survive anywhere here. Um, now I could cut a card and have it move over after an attack, but I mean that leaping trap is going to be a problem. So, hmm. this is not an ideal situation. Let's see what happens getting a hit in and we will get a bee generated off of the elk and it should be able to turn that one strange frog into um, a uh, corpse by the end of it. I mean, well, it's not going to make it, but it, it would have, so I think I'm going to be forced to cut a card. And actually, I think I may just end up having to die here. Is even if I cut a card, it's just not enough. Um, so I can cut, and then they're gonna do plus two, and I can get the elk on the board, but fortunately it's gonna die after a turn. Um, however, I can block this strange frog on the next turn, so maybe this will actually work out. Um, let's try this, and we'll have to go from there. Okay. We'll get a B out of it, so that's better than nothing. Alright. 
So let's see. We could have a B take out this leaping trap so that we don't lose our elk for at least one more turn. And uh, yeah, that'll be that, I guess. Good. Um, too bad I didn't get a B that I could play against that Hatter. However, I could get something like, let's see, we don't have enough for a turkey vulture yet. I was thinking something to get the um, wild bull on the board. I think it will have just enough that I could do that. Um, fortunately, let's see, if it does rampage, it'll try to move to the right. And I think that maybe it won't move, but I'd have to put down the uh, wolf pelt. I kind of hate to give it up for the trading sequence that's going to happen here in a minute. So uh, let's just go ahead and let it go. There we go. Okay. I could get enough energy on the board here to uh, take things out. Maybe I don't have to lose um, everything. So I could let the Ouroboros purposely die to get it powered up. Um, however, it feels a little bit risky. I could wave the fan, and that'll be enough damage on the board, I think, to uh, save me. I'm not sure if the, uh, the leaving trap will actually take it out. Darn it. Forgot about that little caveat here. Um, yeah. So... I think we're still still going to lose our elk, so there it goes. But I do get another felt out of it at least. And in a bee, bees are always good, right? <laughs> All right, we'll have a bee take out the trap at least, and um, that'll be that. cards to trade, so that's always a big plus here. Alright, let's see. Give me something good to take. Wish so bad that we could keep the cards. Alright, how many do we have to trade here? I think it, we have four pelts. So... Bloodhound with the uh, touch of death. I also don't like the wolf cub with bifurcated attacks. I think they'll take those two. Adder, I'm not really that scared of since, you know, it's gonna do its thing, but uh, elk fawn with bifurcated sounds like bad news. So, let's see. Maybe I should take out this rattler just to have that lane completed. Okay, there we go. I'm thinking I can park the Ouroboros after the Wild Bull leaves the area. It's going to die to the Porcupine as is. Okay. And, uh, yeah, let's play the Rattler here. And we will, let's see, maybe I could purposely let the Ouroboros die to the uh, Adder. That would be ideal. So we need it to uh, get deployed. Um, actually, I could do it to the porcupine. Um, I think that's the bigger threat anyways. So, yeah. There we go. Alright, I think that we still have enough on here to do just fine. I could get the Ouroboros deployed again, and it'll get some damage on the board, and um, could let the wild bull take it out. Let's see. I think if we put it right here, it'll be safe. Because I, I should have enough bone tokens to be alright. Alright, little Ouroboros, do your thing. Should get it up to the third power level when the bull takes it out. Oh, did too much damage. Miscounted. I thought we had 
three left to go, but we only have two. That's all right. Having that uh, three-way attack is going to be great. All right, Gek, it's your turn, bud. If I can get the unkillable on it, that'll be ideal. I might just steal the Ouroboros' um, powers off of it. Um, let's see. I don't see a sacrifice. I think I'm good in that. We need items and cards, so let's go to the cave challenge next. Bone, sigil, and power. I think we have sigils as a pretty safe bet. Alright, we got it. Plenty. Ooh. Let's see, a moose buck with touch of death and item generation. I feel like that may be a no-brainer. Let's do it. Okay. I hope I have a fungi event before everything is said and done. Uh, let's see. I guess you can't be... Uh, too safe without leaving a squirrel behind, you know, always gotta have at least one of them. Okay, good, we can get our moose buck started right away. So, we've got a stinky coyote to have to deal with. Um, fortunately, our moose buck is gonna kind of be wandering around. We can't really stop that though. Um, we could start it like right here so it can get another equalizing hit before moving on. Hmm. I'm afraid that coyote is just going to do a lot of damage. So maybe I should start it over here and just work its way down. It might be the shortest path. I could always get the squirrel and contain it in that lane, but I'm afraid he's going to play something else anyways. So let's just start in the empty lane and uh, kind of go from there. Okay. Should be able to take out um, this lane in one hit, so... Ah, oh, now we gotta be with the kiss of death too, and I'll go ahead and use um, something to block this guy out since I'm about to use a bee that's gonna give me an item. Um, let's see, I could play this other black goat and prop up an elk, and then put a bee in the open lane. After that, let's do that. Okay. And there we go. Okay. Bees. All right. I don't see anything needed to do here right now. I think that we're good to go. Got it. Did I do that? <laughs> uh, let's see. Beehive and Sparrow. That's a weird draw today. Um, hmm. I'm not sure about the card counter ability, what it does exactly. I'm tempted to take it since it's just a single blood, so we'll do it. Maybe we'll get a crazy good sigil here. Um, doesn't look like it though. I think this is the most visits I've ever had with this. Okay. Alright. Let's see. I don't think I have any pelts in my hand, so going in that direction won't really matter. I really need to get to the uh, 
trapper again, so we'll go this route and hopefully succeed in this fight and we'll get to the cave and keep going. Alright, I think that's the loose tail sigil if I remember right. So, what are we going to do about that? Coyote that has it, so maybe attacking the porcupine first will make the most sense. Moose butt can kind of be roaming around wreaking havoc. Um, I'll actually put it, let's see, do that and I think we will start it over here. So that should be enough to kind of equalize things as we're cruising down the row. Um, things get bad, I'll get out the squirrel and get another, um, or get an elk on the board just to get things going. I may have to do it because they're going to get, let's see, one, two, three, four, five damage right off the bat. Let's see, we've got a bloodhound that is um, unkillable, so that's nice. Hmm. Thinking that elk may have to come on there. He's going to take out both, or at least that first coyote and then damage the other one. I'm not even sure if it'll be able to make its tail since the rabbit is there blocking it. So let's pull out our squirrel and we'll make it happen. Alright. Alright, good, good. Soon we'll be able to play our um, Bloodhound as well. Oh, double alpha is coming at us. That's not very good. Okay, they're gonna really wreck us hard, I think. Um, hmm. Which two should I play? I think that I should leave the moose buck there, so maybe the bloodhound. Well, it's gonna run around and do its thing, though, so it's gonna hop over unless I put something there, so. Um, I would think I would rather lose a bee to the alphas than losing the bloodhound. The elk should be able to rebound and go around anyways, so let's uh, get the bloodhound in the far left. And we will put a bee over here. And I think we'll be safe. Okay. Alright, not horrible. And a moose buck. Alright, let's see. Elk is going to take it out and run over. Um, leaving a gap. But we'll have it probably lost on the alpha. And we can go ahead and block that alpha's attack. For now. Okay. There we go. Six health, two of kin, and four blood. I think we'll do two of kin. That feels like an easy one to pass. Uh, let's see. Great. Wasn't positive um, for some reason there. <laughs> Alright, an elk pawn that's made of stone and also it's airborne. A brood parasite along with corpse eater um, and a bell ringer. Ringworm, it's a trinket bearer, and a corpse eater. Hmm. I feel like we've already got one trinket bearer. I'm tempted to say let's get this guy going, but since it's not airborne, it's going to break its own egg after it's played, I believe. So that's not good. Let's do the elk pawn. It's not my favorite thing having it be airborne, but it'll at least get the benefits of our totem. Alright, who needs some health? Uh, let's see. I'm tempted to say let's just do it on our gek. 
I'm gonna double check. I don't wanna rush it. Let's do our gimmick. Alright. That'll be a free card to play and uh it'll be able to take hopefully two hits. Alright, fungus. Um I'm not sure if we have two fungus events, but we really don't need to go to the woodcarver, so we'll get at least one of the fungus events. Sparrow and Raven. Hmm. And we can only play this guy. I guess that may be our best luck here. Okay, and that'll be that, I suppose. Okay, I think we just have to continue on. Oh, that's a lot of power. Um, I'm not positive if I'll be able to recover from this, so... I can cut a card, but they're going to do 3, 5 hit on me anyways. Um, and that would put them at plus 1, which would be over. I don't think I can get out of that. Well, I do have a tooth pull. So let's do that. And we'll go ahead and cut the card too. I'll just have to get a whole new set of things. Um, I could sacrifice this guy to get a grizzly on the board. Um, and it'll do four. And that'll get us pretty close to having enough bones to get our turkey vulture deployed. However, let's see, they're going to get five. And I'll just bring them down to one. If I can make it one more turn, I may be able to pull through, so let's just let this play out for a minute. Okay. Yeah, that may not have been enough. Um, yeah, I'm actually quite sure it's not going to be, but we did what we could, so I may have been better off making that sacrifice a moment ago, because they're going to do plus five, um, and I'm going to get plus four, so get me down to the next to last and I don't have enough for the turkey vulture so there we go all right let's see I think I'm gonna have to draw this <laughs> turkey vulture oh that's rough okay and that's that so we're gonna be down a candle so we won't get our smoke in our next boss fight and it's going to be a hard one too. Uh, let's see. Let's go with a triple blood moose buck. Alright. What kind of cards can we double up on? We have two moose bucks and I think we have two turkey vultures and how many help do we have? Actually, we have three loose box, so we're definitely combining one of those. And, and we could do the turkey vulture too. Um, let's see, is there somebody that I would do a bone sacrifice for? Um, hmm. Could bone sacrifice one of the turkey vultures so that the other one would have a chance to be playable. However, having two or having them combine to be six and six sounds pretty nice. I don't know. This is hard, but we'll just do the two combinations and roll with it and see what happens. Oh, I forgot I had this elk fawn combo too going on. Alright, I'm sure we want the moose bucks combined. Okay. Well, hey, wizard, how's it going? All right. We can actually combine them up again. Oh, man. That'd be nine and I think 21. 
if I could play it, it would be epic. Um, let's see. Could combine the turkey vultures or this elk fawn. Just don't know. I don't know if I'd like it to be airborne. That's the biggest concern I have. Um, hmm. With it only being one blood, though, it'd be a lot stronger. So I think we'll do it. Okay, here we go. It's gonna be a tough one. I think he starts out with a wolf instead of a coyote when he's the uh, final starter boss, so this will be interesting. Um, could lay down the Gek just to uh, take a hit from the wolf and uh, get the Elk Fawn started next to it, and we'll be able to hit the. Um, Pack Mule pretty hard, actually, because it should stay for two hits, I think. And um, we'll just go ahead and let it go. Okay. Let's uh, draw whatever's next. The mole. Alright. I think that um, we'll just have to stick with it. I forgot this elf was airborne too. At least it got us through that first phase quickly. Alright. Um, I guess playing our mole to uh, block some of the damage that's about to come in seems to be our only good chance here. Unfortunately, I think they're going to resource exhaust me before I can fix this situation because um, I don't have any items. Um, yeah, yeah, I think this is it. Unfortunately, this is uh, the end of it for me. Ah, that's really tough. I'll try playing uh, one more round because that was a really bad run there. Ah, let's try again. Okay. We'll uh, zip through it real quickly. Maybe we'll have a better set of cards and everything. All right, I think I'm gonna go for insects again. They seem to be my lucky thing. Um, we'll get something that consumes, well, I tend to get the elk fawn. But we do need something that takes bone, so let's take the corpse maggots just to have something here. And I don't think that I want to take the bifurcated attack or anything right now. So let's go for sigils. Ah. Oh. That sounds actually pretty tempting. So if I could get that on a, like say, ants or something to power up um, on a quest of, say, a grizzly or whatever. That'd be a lot of power quickly and cheaply since the ants are, you know, not super valuable. Alright. Um, let's say we get our mole on the board and we'll continue on. Oh, nice, we got our mantis. Okay, here we go. And let's see. I think we'll do this number here. We're about to lose the mantis anyway, so um, could sacrifice it and get the uh, grease buck on the board. Here we go. Alright, thank you, Mole. Nice. Okay. 
should be done in, I think, just another turn or so. Okay, one more turn. We just had to have another hit. Yeah, yeah, I got a new follower, um, Symbiote 72, a couple days ago. Um, it's always exciting having a few people join. It seems to be picking up in frequency lately. It's exciting. Let's see. Thank you. We'll go with another three blood. Oh, moose buck. Maybe we'll combine it like we did in the previous match and see how that helps. All right, health boost. We're gonna do that on our mantis. So we want to have us a super strong mantis army here. <laughs> Should be able to make work out of them pretty quickly, so we got lucky and had it in our hand right away. So that'll be great. Alright, let's see. I'll go ahead and draw another card, and I guess we could play our mole so that we can have some defense to back stuff up. need to get an airborne mall that would be very handy we're gonna have the moose buck played in just a minute I wonder if he'll um, offer me a win here I'm actually somewhat surprised he didn't do it we'll uh, take out the uh, grand fur open up more lanes for attacks Alright, well I'm going to keep playing since uh, I want to get that excess damage, hopefully. Oh, wasn't quite enough. Alright, Sigil Swaps. Um, could put the Mantis's power on something else, but I've already got it a little bit stronger. So I hate to do that. Maybe if I put the Corpse Eater, though, on something else, like one of the Moose Bucks, so that it can auto-deploy, that would be ideal. Um... Well, let's see. Tempted to go with... We'll go with there. Our uh, amphibians. I think is the tribe for that one. Alright. Sacrifice time. We'll do corpse maggots. And we'll put it on our beloved moose buck. So that it can join in on the fight upon the first death. Hopefully that'll be a good idea. I guess it just depends on where the action is at the time. Alright, Porcupine and Sparrow. Could have a Mantis hide behind the rock. I think that, that will work out just fine. Now oh, we have a Cuckoo that's going to come in. Um, let's see. I think that I'll just have to draw a squirrel card. Okay. And uh, let's see. Could have the skink get played. Um, we'll just wait though. Alright. We still don't have enough room to play our moose buck unfortunately because of the egg it's going to be blocking the way um skink could block the uh attack from the porcupine a little bit though there we go so we're going to keep playing though because i would definitely like to uh get any excess damage if there's a possibility of it okay Another mole. Okay, let's see if we get something else. Another moose bug. Excellent. Um, I don't think we have enough to get it on the board though. So I'd have to use up 
that squirrel, and even then, I can't get it for that alone, so we'll just play our skink and get as much damage as we can. I think that'll get maybe three. Yeah. Good. Um, that may be enough teeth to make a trade. I need to go to the wood carver anyway, so this might be the best way to go about it. I hope I can get a gold pelt, but yeah, not quite enough. We'll settle for a wolf pelt. Okay, where they sacrifice? Or I could get the stinky. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Well, I will go ahead and get the pronghorn head, just because we don't know how long it will be until we get that back. So, let's keep going. Alright. What could we do here? Maybe taking the mole's power and putting it on the moose buck would be an interesting idea to block some damage, but I kind of hate for the moose buck to get eliminated quickly. Um, skink may be a good idea on something else, so perhaps the mole, so that way the mole can uh, just be a really useful defense management tool. It's kind of an odd choice to have to make, but I think maybe it was for the best. I really want to save that Mantis's bifurcated attack until I feel it's a really good time to use it. Alright, Cody and a pack mule. Alright, don't really have anything to uh, accelerate building out for right now, so... Maybe we will just uh, get our mole on the board and go from there. Okay. Another wolf pelt. Can you believe it? Let's get our smoke down and keep going. Alright. go. Alright, strong moose buck. So I think it would have enough power that it could take out the coyotes and head for the pack mule after that. So let's uh, get that party started. Here we go. Good. Excellent. Buck. Fortunately, I think the timing is going to be off just enough that we're going to see some difficulties, but let's just go ahead and see what happens. Okay. Don't want to play it because we, uh, we're getting really close to tipping things, so I think the next turn will be when it happens. see getting close to starvation too so that's not good okay gotta play something now so mantis could go and we lose it we have enough stuff drawn that our moose buck um, should be able to last I'm trying to think if I started over here it'll hit the pack mule and then it'll hit the mole, the mole will get hit again, and the adder will ultimately take it out. So that's not good. I think we're just going to have to play the mantis and have it whittle away um, bit by bit. Really need to get rid of that pack mule. So this is an unfortunate situation. I should have played it over there now that I think about it. Um, 
I will miss a roll with it and see what happens. Maybe I can still get it on the board. In time. Okay. And should have sacrificed the mantis to but actually that mole is gonna move and it'll distract the mantis, I think. I think things will work out just right, then I'll take out the pack mule and be safe. Here we go. Whew. I'm gonna need these because I'm about to lose my two cards here. I really may run into starvation, sadly. Might have to use uh, everything I have to uh, have a chance here. can get the rattler down and let's see this is card counter so it'll help quite a bit too and it's only one blood so let's get it on the board all right that's enough to win it good maybe I could have saved my tooth puller but I really need to hit up a item event anyways because um, Getting a full bag will be more useful, I think. Ah. It's amalgam with the question mark. I still don't know what these are. That's interesting and weird. I do want to try it, but I'm afraid of what it will do. Um, the strange larva, which is in the insect family. So... I could go for it. Hmm. Going back and forth between that and the uh, curious amalgam. I think I'll go with the strange larva. I need to look up what the question mark um, creature does. Okay. Let's see, which sigil do I have again? I have the worthy sacrifice. Um. I believe I'd rather do that. Let's see, we have a sacrifice up there and still don't think I really want to put, change out anything as it is. So an item and I can't read what that one is. Maybe a fungus actually. I could play the moose buck. So let's go this route because I think that my totem situation is acceptable for now. We'll get us the two blood. And we'll get two more items. Alright, scissors. Ooh. And a turn skipper. That's great. Perfect. Alright. Strange larva, you are up for your turn. Hopefully you're in a safe lane as well. Nope. <laughs> uh, that stinks. So, huh. I guess the moose buck will go in its place after the adder kills it. And uh, I could have the turn skip happen. Hmm. Let's draw here and Unfortunately, you want to see two damage come in, and that'll put me next to last. So I am tempted to uh, do something drastic here. I really like to save the time skipper, though. Hmm. Wish I could block that guy somehow. Let's see. If I put them all down, though, that'll be enough to block off some of this damage that's about to come in. So I think it'll run away from the adder and then be in front of the skink can take the damage there. So maybe that'll be enough.
Okay. And interesting that Moose Buck could deploy on a tail alone. That's cool. I don't think I need that. Alright, they're going to get one damage on me, but my Moose Buck should be able to... Actually, they won't get any damage or the mole will die. That's what's going to happen. Okay. And a rabbit pelt. I suppose I should probably play that in front of the adder. Just trying to think of if there's anything else. Ah, red eyes mean good. I'll have to try that out. I just uh, had seen something about it online, but I wasn't sure what it meant, so I've been curious. Okay, well, it's looking like the only chance I have of getting past this is... Um, well, let's see. We swept, we'd take that out. I can black block one damage. Looks like I have a damage to spare though. So maybe if I put it in this lane and have the moose buck move to the left instead, that would be our more prosperous route. So let's uh let's do that and go from there. Okay. And we'll pull from here. And our moose buck is going to do three and unfortunately die to the adder right after. Um, so I think I'll just go ahead and see what happens here. I might be able to draw another card in a moment that turns this around. So a wolf pelt. Okay, I can work with this I think. Um, let's get our bloodhound on the uh, board, and it should stay stationary, I think. And we'll overall come over a positive one. Um, yep. And we will just have to draw another card and see what we get. Alright, Moose Buck. Um, I could cut this card. But we're going to break even again, so we might as well just let things keep progressing. And I can build up for a moose buck, and we'll be good. It's kind of a slow process, but it should work. Okay. Alright, there we go. In the next turn, I think that we should win. Let's see. I don't think it'll do as much damage if I sacrifice the Bloodhound, so we're just going to do it. There we go. I didn't think I would be able to turn that one around, so that was a pleasant surprise. Alright, Beehive and a River Otter and a Kingfisher. Let's go with the Beehive. Hopefully we'll keep enhancing our insect situation. Alright. And what can we do here? Do have two pelts, so heading towards pelt trade. Sounds like a decent idea. I don't know if I have um, but one sacrifice to make. What about the fungus? We could combine up our two moose bucks and have a really powerful one that auto deploys. Um, however, I'd miss out on a sacrifice uh, or a sigil swap. Don't know if I have a sigil swap; it'd be worth it though. Um, I mean, getting the mantis on the moose buck would be cool, but I think that I want to get those combined before I do anything else, because this would just be so powerful. Like even the great whites wouldn't really be able to uh, take me on. So. There we go. Yep, thanks for the uh, encouragement. I think this will be a good way to go. 6 and 14. <laughs> Alright, um, we could park the strange larva in front of the skunk. Um, 
first I think I'll get out the beehive so we can generate a couple of bees and uh, next turn we should be able to get out our uh, strange larva, I believe. Alright, and let's see. Okay, I think that we are safe to deploy our strange larva. Um, and I'm tempted to put it, I guess we'll put it right here because it'll be airborne and not face any threat from the skunk. Um, and our B could block this worker ant that's about to come in and do some damage. Let's see. Thinking it, it could also take out the mantis, but we've already got hit on me, so maybe putting it here makes sense while we wait on our strange larva to uh, get stronger. Alright. Got us another bee out of it, and could get the bloodhound down, and it has enough power to take out the worker ant. Um, if I do this lane, though, that would be nice because it could hit the empty column, though. So I think that that's what I want to go for. Okay, and I think that that might be safe. Let's double check. Two and that's it. Yep. All right, Mothman cometh, so we should be good from here out. Awesome. Okay. see about sigils and stuff. We've only got two there. Third, fourth, fifth. I think that counts as a sixth. Seven, eight, nine. So we have a lot of sigils. Um, we don't have a ton of power, actually. We only have a couple that have anything to start with. I mean, if we got the moose buck, we would win right away. Um, bone, we have I think, no bone consumers yet, so... I guess let's go sigils. It feels like maybe I'm only a little shot here. Oh wow. Just barely missed it. Alright. Let's see. I feel like reptile head doesn't seem very useful at this moment. And Rampager doesn't either. Let's go with this one. And um, fortunately, I've already got that symbol on something else. But I guess we'll stick with Worthy Sacrifice for now. Yeah, that was tough missing that um, cave challenge. It's always sad to see that happen. All right. Uh, Strange larva could get up and going right away. I'd kind of like to block the cuckoo off from being able to uh, block my lane. The bee's gonna be honest right away. So let's get strange larva started, and I think that everything should be okay once it's fully cooked. Okay. Um, what else can we do here? can't block the bees doing damage and they're gonna get three on me so I think I would have to have them skip a turn to be able to have a chance to win um, kind of hate to use that though because I know I can get it relit instead um, hmm well really didn't have a good draw here. I've got kind of an imbalanced deck too. I think that I have uh, too many low power cards at the moment. They're kind of exposing me now with these airborns coming in as hard as they are. I think I'm just going to hand it to them because if 
I don't I'd really hate to use either of these items up because they're so good. Um, and even if I did use a time thing, I guess the strange pupil would be strong enough to recover things. Hmm. Now if I cut a card, they do two damage anyways, so that's too much. And yeah, I think I'm just going to let my candle go out. It's not ideal, but you know, during a boss fight, at most you just get an extra turn or an extra safety measure with the um, the thing, uh, the smoke, anyway. So not sure if that's the best play, but we'll go from there. Um, now the beehive getting its power on the moose buck sounds pretty nice. I just got so few cards, I'm afraid to go down a less. Um, and if I go from here, I'm just going to get more pelts, which I don't have a lot of tea, so it may be just one anyways. And I don't really need items that bad, so I think this route makes the most sense. It's going to have to sacrifice at least one card. Alright. I think that I should take the possum, since I don't really have anything taking bones. Now... I am about to lose two cards because we have to make a sacrifice. Um, I really don't want to get rid of any of them. I mean, perhaps the beehive. Let's see. If I were to give anybody powers, I'm tempted to <laughs> just go ahead and take the mantises and put its powers on the moose buck, but I feel like it's just inviting trouble of some sort because it moves. The strange larva sacrificing it and putting its power on the mantis so that it turned into a mantis god, and that might be a clever trick. Let's do that. I do like the strange larva, but it just uh, takes a little while to get ramped up. Unfortunately, that's that's tough. All right, now we have to make a sacrifice. I think I'm going to keep our mole for defense reasons. I think that might be a little bit more valuable than the beehive. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I think we're going to let the beehive go. Even the possum might be nice to have because I'm just going to have to make one sacrifice uh, in order to be able to use it right away since now I'll have a bone token to fall back on. Alright, angler time. I think it still might be maybe my next to least favorite because the uh, trapper annoys me whole lot with its leaping traps. Uh, let's see. Possum can go out pretty quickly, but oof. I really don't have a good setup here. Um, so I mean, I can play the black goat, but it's really not going to do any good. However, I mean, I could get it out there because it does require a sacrifice anyways and put out the possum and hopefully I'll grab something powerful from the stack in the next hand or next turn okay <laughs> the mole all right uh, let's see I suppose this playing our rabbit pelt so he'll have something to grab that'll stop that one possum the kingfisher will break even. Okay. Something strong. Alright, mantis. So that'll do three direction attack. Um, fortunately, it'll wake up a charm bucket, but I can have a 
skip turn here in a little bit. Alright, let's roll with it. Okay, and we have our Mantis God is developed. So let's uh, throw a squirrel down. Okay. Good, good. And we are about to have something pop up in front of us. So I'm thinking let's go ahead and grab one of these to see what we get. And we're going to get buckets here and here. Um, so I'm thinking maybe putting the mole down might be wise so that we don't have something where we can take a hit or two. Um, let's go ahead and do that instead of activating it because we know the Mantis God is going to activate it. So we might have them skip his turn after they're brought in. Um, and I do have a card cutter too, so that's excellent to have. Um, let's do card cut here, and that way the Mantis God can hit the bait bucket and the mole will deflect for a little bit. So it only has 2 HP, which is really good prior cases here. Alright. There we go. Alright. Excellent. Ooh. Let's see. I mean, I do have the black goat, so if I could get an amalgam going, that would be nice. Um, so, let's see, what is our totem again? I think that I had worthy sacrifice, so I could sacrifice child 13 and get three blood, since it's a pronghorn. That would be cool. I, uh, I really don't need it that much, though. I mean, I guess the bloodhound give me a ramp to get the bloodhound going so maybe we'll do it it is airborne though and i'm always leery about airborne's you know opening uh me up to not being able to kill an enemy on the other side so we'll try it all right two of kin six of um, health and four blood. Hmm. I think getting to Ken is going to be somewhat tricky. Kind of just all over the board here. Four blood may also be a little tricky. Let's go with six health. Uh, let's see. Perfect. I must think it. I missed it. I was looking at the attack power and it's like, ah, I didn't get it, but I think I did. <laughs> ah, ant spawner and let's see, airborne as well. And let's see, pronghorn. I think that I'd rather have it due to it also has corpse eater on it and attacks in two directions. Um, yeah, we're gonna go with that. Alright, uh, let's see. I do have two pelts to trade in, so I could get two more items and then head out, head out to do um, pelt trades. I don't think I am too worried about this uh, sigil situation. Though, I just don't know what I'd be building towards is a tricky part. I mean, I don't really want to sacrifice the, uh, you know, strong cards just for that, but Pronghorn, or I guess Child 13 is going to be the key to all this, you know, getting three blood off of it and being able to sacrifice it multiple times might make it worth it. Ooh, another skipper. Let's do it. That'd be amazing to have them skip two turns in a row for the final boss. I get so lucky. 
Alright, Moose Buck and Child 13. Well, perfect. I can get it going right away. Um, I, I think that's going to work out just fine. So, let's think about it for a minute. Um, I guess I can enrage Child 13 over here. And this will be enough to, uh, I guess, win automatically? I think that I win already. Yeah. Nice. That was exactly what I was hoping for, a child 13 and the uh, sigil. <laughs> All right, so I could trade in a wolf pelt and a rabbit pelt. Um, and, or I could try for a cave event. I think I'll do a trade in. I really need to get a few more animal cards because I think I'm just feeling a little bit behind right now. Okay, uh, let's see. An ant queen or another mantis. Um, if I could get the mantis combined with the other one that becomes mantis god, that would be really nice. Let's see. Or an alpha. I only have the possum, so maybe having an alpha makes more sense. This is a hard choice. I think I'll just go with another mantis. Hopefully I'll get a fungi event. Okay. Uh, well, there is an alpha with the uh, bees within. I mean, that's tempting. I did want an alpha earlier as well. Let's consider the other ones. Rattler that gives us an item. Wolf cub that's airborne. Cat that gives us an item as well. And uh, has many lives too. So, hmm. And another black goat that gives us an item. I want to go with the alpha since I wanted one earlier. Hopefully this will all work out just right. Okay, um, somebody needs some health could put it on this other mantis just to keep it rolling along longer. Um, Child 13 is tempting as well. I don't know if it really matters on the possum. So let's just go with this mantis. So if I can get it uh, heading up to the um, mantis god on the other one with six health points. I don't know if I want to have a fungus event though. It's the only problem with all this. Um, yeah, okay. I think I would rather do a normal battle versus a totem battle. So let's just do that. It seems like a easy uh, choice. Ooh, a moose buck and a wall man right away. That's a little scary. Hmm. I mean, we will get a mantis god when we if we play it. And it would take out the mole man. Having the moose buck there is going to be hard. I guess using the frozen possum might be an ideal situation. Hmm. Now I can get child thirteen on the board too, though. However, I could protect. Well. Let's see. Maybe I could play it over here. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. And Mantis will go over here. And uh, that's going to get us three on the board, five right away. So we'll almost win. And actually, I can put the possum on. And I think that wins it for us. That does look interesting. I'm still not exactly sure what to do with it, though. I need to read on how to play with the cat, because I'm not sure um, what it's really meant to do. But yeah, you're right. I am curious about it. Uh, let's see. I think we're going to lose child 13. And actually, let's see. We're going to get one, two, and the mole man is going to get hit. 
um, four times for four damage, and then child 13 is going to be plus two, and it'll die, and the elk fawn is going to come down and take out the possum. And then another mole's coming up. So that's a lot at once. Let's just see if we can get it. We do have two candles too, so it's not the end of the world if I end up losing another match. Um, sacrifice nine times becomes an undead cat. Oh. Loses the mini life sigil and transforms. Oh, neat. I had no idea. That sounds awesome. Hmm. Well, Mantis God will take out the elk fawn, which will then let the bloodhound down. Let's, uh, let's draw for the mole so that it can block some damage for us and we will go from there um, okay has three damage and six health awesome yeah I'm gonna have to try that out then because I've been looking at it over and over and I just never got around to trying it fortunately oh yeah our moose buck so, let's see, Bloodhound will get an HP down, actually it'll, it'll um, knock out the Mole, and then Mantis God will take out the Bloodhound, Mole will get hit, and Mole Man taken out, meanwhile the Moose Buck's going to do plus three on me. I think that this is okay though. Yeah, because that gets our other, that gets my Moose Buck on the board. All right, excellent. So I think we have enough here that I can just start blocking that uh, moose buck and it won't be able to uh, recover anything. Oh, it's gonna go toe to toe with mine. I'm gonna wipe it out in one hit. <laughs> All right, that's pretty funny. All right, yeah. pronghorn too. We'll be able to get in on the board. Uh, next turn. Yeah, thanks for sharing the knowledge about the cat, because that's um, something I've been meaning to look up, and I keep forgetting about it until I go to stream, and that'll be really neat to see. So if I see an opportunity to get it again, I think I will try that. Alright, let's see. We have enough for a golden pelt? Yeah. Wolf pelt? No. We'll just take another rabbit pelt then. We gotta do the uh, trading fight too. I appreciate it. It's always nice to have your help on this game. It's crazy. Just every time I play it, I feel like I learn something more, you know? So, it's pretty cool. Alright, I think that we'll do this, but we'll stick with our uh, worthy sacrifice and um, let's see yeah, we'll stick with the um, this head so that we can use child 13 as a sacrifice oh wow, we've got some difficult choices to make here now um, do I have a need to move sigil around? thinking I'd I don't necessarily. I mean, I could put the alpha sigil on, say, hmm, somebody that would last a while, like maybe the mole, and that'd get me a bunch of bees. So that would be pretty cool. Um, but to miss duplicating a card when I could get another moose buck, it's overwhelmingly powerful. That's uh, a hard one, hard decision to make. I think that I'll go for the card duplication. Hopefully that's not a poor decision, but we'll see soon enough, I suppose. Alright, Nilt Fawn incoming. Hmm. Well, the Mantis would be able to survive it, and it's going to become a Mantis God, too. 
So I think that I'll put it um, right in front of it and we'll let it continue on. Okay, well, I think that's reasonable because we'll be able to get a couple hits on the elk and uh, yeah. I'm tempted to put the possum down because the elk is going to do... Actually, I think I'm going to have to because we're going to get one, two, three right there. That gets us kind of dangerously low. So let's put our possum in to play. Um, I could have done the pelt, but it'd be nice to have some energy blocked for a while. Okay. Um... It's looking a little bit scary here with the cards we have in our hands, but let's see. Got another mantis, and it could go over here and help whittle down this elk before this mantis god loses to it. I mean, it's still going to happen, but hmm, maybe that's not a good move either. Good thing is we, we will get rid of that elk fawn. Could park this mantis over here though, and it'll get damage in that direction and survive, you know, a couple of turns. And um, we'll wait about putting down that golden pelt. All right. Let's see. Mantis is going to get another hit. Unfortunately, that's just plus one. And we've got an elk coming in. So, could block this lane. That'll buy me just a tiny bit of time. I might not be able to play my Bloodhound very easily. Um, however, let's see. Bloodhound could take out the porcupine as the elk moves in. I think this could work. Let's see. Um, we'll put down this pelt and the bloodhound should move when the elk moves, I think. I'm not positive if it does or if it'll be only when a card moves down, but let's see what happens. There we go. Good. It's not a perfect situation, but it works. <laughs> another pelt. So we can block another round. Oh man, this is probably going to be another loss. And a possum. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, I mean, it'll take out the elk fawn. So it is funny, but it should work. <laughs> Awesomes. Alright, what do we get here? Child 13. Uh, let's see. Fortunately, it's going to be asleep. And I don't have another card to uh, help get me out of this. Um, if I can make it one more turn, though, might be able to do it. Well, the alphas are going to come in. The alpha is going to come in and really wreck things. I think I'm just going to have to let my candle go. Like, I don't see a good way out of this. Okay. And... Let's see. Yeah. So I could get child 13 down, but... Let's just skip the turn. Um, that's not going to work, so I think I'm just going to have to let this candle go. Fortunately, it was looking like a really good match, but man, he just had a really good deck. Okay. Let's see. Could get another pronghorn down. Another moose buck. Yeah, that was a, that was a tough one. I'm just, uh... 
kind of surprised at how tough that was. All right, let's see. Hmm, well, I'd like to get another moose buck. However, getting another strong mantis might not be a bad idea since it's low cost. And it would theoretically still become a mantis god. Hmm. Overwhelming power here is just too tempting. I think I want to go with... Let's see, we might not get a fungi event too though. That's the thing that's bothering me about all this. So I'd love to combine up the mantis, but we're getting short. Let's go with another moose buck. Absolute worst case. Uh, I mean, this game, you never know what it's going to throw at you, so we'll see what comes of all this. So we'll be going into our final boss soon enough. Ah, dam builder. Okay. That's really not my thing, so I think that we're just going to take ahead and um, run away with it. Okay. All right. Come on, Trapper. I'm ready for you. Thank you. I hope I win too. This would be uh, an excellent place to uh, take things off. Let's see. Now the Mantis God can get rid of two of these traps if I play them right before he uh, dies. So actually I could get, yeah, I could get two of them fully deactivated, I think. If I'm thinking this through correctly. So, let's see, I could get an agitated child 13 right after that. The mantis does have bifurcated attacks, so it'd only be hitting these two, so it'd actually um, be doing pretty well in that regard. Fortunately, I think the leaping traps, they are, they are also a mighty leap. So child 13 isn't going to like sidestep that either. Um, let's put let's put the mantis here so that it can hit these two strange frogs and get rid of them. And we'll see what we can build here in another turn or two. Okay. Got time. Okay, uh, let's see. I could get child 13 going. We're gonna have how much damage are we about to take on? Um, I think just we won't take on any actually. I'm so tempted to use one of these, I'm scared that I'm miscalculating. But Mantis God will knock this one out, take damage from there knock this one out and that'll be it so I think I'm good it's just always it's hard because it makes you start second guessing but I could get the mole down and if I'm wrong you know worst case scenario uh, the mole will block some damage so let's just do that then okay perfect and we're just about at a place where we can play Child 13 to its full effect. Okay. Okay, let's see. I think it's time that we declare Child 13 ready to go. Um, so let's get it on the board. And we'll get our Bloodhound going too. It can take out our Bullfrog. Mantis God will do a damage, and let's see, Child 13 will 2, so that'll be 3. Bloodhound, or the Mantis God will become deceased on the Leaping Trap, 
and the Bloodhound will take out the Bullfrog. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, and the Adder comes along. Poor Bloodhound went straight for it. Didn't see it coming. Alright, we'll take a possum to take out our Adder here. Nice. And let's see. Ah, we spoke time. <laughs> um, we're going to lose child 13 anyway, so why don't we go ahead and get it on the board. And we'll put it over here. Um, and that'll be enough damage. The board should get it cleared off, but I want to put down a wolf pelt just to be safe, make sure that that lane stays blocked and the moose buck doesn't get in the way of the trap. Okay, good. Trade time. Ooh, pronghorn with touch of death. That's not good. I'm not really afraid of this rattler. Um, I think that I could take it out pretty quickly. The great white is also problematic. I think that we'll just go ahead and clear this lane out so that child 13 can do its magic. And um, this river snapper gets stronger. That, that's a little scary too. Um, however, going back and forth between the boost <laughs> moose buck and the grizzly. Um, let's see. Ah. I mean, our, our moose buck is pretty powerful, so maybe we'll take out the grizzly just to uh, be absolutely sure. And I can get the grizzly on or the great white thanks to our child 13 that's hanging out here so let's uh let's go for it okay i think that's going to work out pretty well all right awesome look at luck paid off there wizard i think we're going to the final boss now and i have two uh turn skips that i can use against it so i'm feeling pretty good here and a mantis god um Let's see. I think we'll take the amalgam. And time for the final boss. All right. How many pelts do we have? We have three pelts. I think it would be likely worth trading in, but let me see if there are any interesting sacrifices that might convince me otherwise. Hmm. I'm thinking not. Okay. So I don't think I need to get a third item that bad. I think I'd rather have more cards. So let's go for cards. Hopefully we'll get something that'll complement our situation. Um, I feel like another black goat could be useful. Or a beehive may even be useful as well. Getting a couple of bees. Let's see. Wolf cub could be strong. Having an, an actual grizzly in as another three might be a nice idea, but that'd be a lot of three bloods to hold on to. Um, cockroach is a cockroach. However, having another thing that consumes bone might be a good idea, so I think we'll take it. And I don't know if the black goat is going to matter a lot, but Maybe having another one out in my hand would be a smart idea. Okay, here's the Mantis God with the question mark on it. So I think that I could be extra adventurous and take it. Um, we'll see what happens with it. Okay, here we go.
<laughs> Here we go. Fingers crossed. This is always a tough one, even when you're feeling like you got a strong hand. Okay. Well, good. Um, I can get quite a bit on the board right away. Um, so, let's see. We could get us an enraged child 13 and a moose buck. So, what lanes would make the most sense to play them in? I think we do want to smoke there so the amalgam will hit something and we'll get child 13 on the board. Oopsie. Um, and we will get it enraged. And uh, I don't think it really matters if we play our moose buck because the mole man's going to come in and interfere. And uh, we could actually take it out in one turn, the amalgam. Um, and I could make it skip the turn so we go straight through a candle just about but I think that we should let him play there we go okay now he is going to start turning things into um, stuff so maybe I should have him skip a turn since I have good stuff going on here um, and we can get child 13 aggravated again and play our bloodhound and I'm gonna get us through our first candle and hopefully that gets her the prospector I don't know if it does or not all right uh, looks like he's still there that's fortunate um, maybe we can have him skip again and that'd be enough damage overall to uh, get out the next candle and we have a mantis so we can play um, getting rid of the bloodhound would be possibly a wise move it'd be the same amount of damage going in that slot or I could get rid of the amalgam and after it grows up you know do three damage across and uh, that Kevin though coming in is going to destroy it so I think I'll just hold on to it for the moment okay and let's see what we have here so we have another option oh good strong respect so if we lose our row here hopefully we can do that again and let's knock out this next candle Good. I think this is the first time I've ever had two uh, skip turns right off the start, so that was pretty wicked. I'm happy to see that. Um, we could get, let's see, I think if we got our super strong moose buck on the board it would be a wise idea um, however even if we sacrificed it the uh, child 13 situation it won't clear up a spot on the board so let's just sacrifice the existing one we have and uh, whoa what is this the hydrac or hydrac or something it only has one health. Whoa, that was maybe not the best move after all. Uh, <laughs> let's just uh, see what happens, I guess. Okay. Um, let's see. Could get one of these numbers, and we need to block. The attack so let's get the mantis down because it'll at least be um, in two directions when it becomes mantis god I think if we're gonna do enough damage we'll be okay 
Yeah, I think we're gonna be just fine. Um, let's keep going. Alright. We'll play our possum and we'll do a squirrel just to uh, block the damage. Oh wow, just one HP left. Alright, another mantis. So we could sacrifice for it, um, but I don't think it'll matter. Alright, well that was awesome. So let's uh, put our mantis down just for fun. Cool. And that'll be it. Sweet. I think we even got a little bit of excess damage with that last one. <laughs> oh man, that's so hard. So we got tip scales, no clover, and no hook on that. And that means we should unlock some stuff. Entry number three. I've been playing this new inscription now for a few days. Work has been unproductive. I emailed some of the other devs, kind of probing to see if they know anything about this without appearing crazy. No dice. The strange thing? The game is fun. Like, it's actually a good game. The stranger still, Leshy, he talks to the challenger almost as if he's talking to me. It's freaky, but not altogether unwelcome. I could use a friend. Thank you. I, uh, I'm really happy to win that. That was really hard. Flying ant. Power of flying ant is equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. Also, flying ant will strike an opponent directly even if there is a creature opposing it. That sounds interesting. Mud turtle. First time mud turtle would take damage, prevent that damage. So it's like a shield. Um, that's cool. And a new starter deck. Oh, insect deck. Wow, and a stinky skunk. That sounds like a really strong starter deck. I might try that next time. All totem battles. All regular battles are replaced with totem battles plus 20 challenge points. Wow. Well, that sounds excellent. I think that we'll go ahead and roll credits and say thanks for watching. It's been S Tier Rink. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at S Tier Rink, and I'll have a replay of today's stream on YouTube soon. Thanks. Have a good one.